what are the limitations of using the current ratio. First, the current ratio can't be used to compare companies in different industries. We already learned that in a previous video. Companies differ substantially between industries, so we can't compare the current ratios of companies across different industries. It would be like comparing Walmart, which in January 2019 had a current ratio of 80 cents of current assets to every $1 of current liabilities. And let's say Apple, which had $1.54 of current assets for every $1 of current liabilities in the quarter ended September 2019. Current ratios can't be compared between companies in different industries. The second drawback of using current ratios is that it does not take into account the composition of the current assets. I already mentioned this in a previous video. The current ratio assumes that all current assets are equal with regards to their ability to be converted into cash, but that's just not true. Let's look at the composition of Orange's current assets. Maybe the accounts receivable takes a long time to collect, or the inventory sells slowly, if at all. Inventory is already harder to turn into cash because we have to sell it. And the prepaid expenses. They'll never be turned into cash. Prepaid expenses are used or consumed over time, not converted. As you can see, the current ratio doesn't take into account the composition of the current assets, and therefore it has to be read with care. So remember, there are two limitations to the current ratio. It can't be compared between companies from different industries, and it does not consider the composition of the assets. So is the current ratio pretty useless then? And the answer is a hard no. The current ratio is one measure of a company's liquidity. It helps us to assess a company's ability to repay current obligations. However, the current ratio, like any ratio ever, must be assessed with care. No one ratio can ever tell us the full story about a company's financial health. Every ratio has limitations, and it is only through the use of multiple ratios and a deep understanding of each ratio's limitations that we can truly assess the financial health of any company. The current ratio has a place in that assessment. We just have to be sure we understand both what it is showing us and what its limitations are. The current ratio.